This is the GitHub desktop application. Uh, this is on Mac OS, so it might look a little bit different than um, what you see on Windows. But I think it's pretty much the same thing. Um, once you install this application and you log in, you just go over here, go to clone, and clone down the Blood Buddy repository. If you don't see this, it's because you haven't accepted my invite to this repository yet. So clone that down, choose uh, where you want it to go, and that's about it. So this is, uh, we're on the master branch, and as you can see, there's only been one commit on this branch, and it's when uh, this Android application was first created. So this is quite a big commit, um, lots of files. Um, they won't usually be this big. Uh, we do have another branch that Sarah created for the initial UI. Um, so you can see all everything that he did, which is also quite large. Um, okay. So as you can see, this branch was created off of the master branch. Um, so this is like the master branch timeline, and then this is the initial UI timeline. Um, so this is where you go to create a new branch, and you can choose where you want to create from. So you can create from the master branch or initial UI. Most of the time you're probably going to create from the master branch. It's uh, usually a better idea. Um, but you can't always do that because let's say I was going to create a new branch called Firebase, and I was going to write some new Firebase uh, database code. Um, and let's say for some reason I needed this initial UI code um, in order to be able to um, write my code. So the problem is, is this initial UI code is not in the master code. And um, <clears throat> so in that case, I, I have to make a branch off of the initial UI. And I'll show you an example. So. Right now I'm on the master branch, and I'll um, I'll show you my uh, my directory. So if we go in here, and you go to source, and you go to main. Um, there's not going to be any Java files, but as soon as you change from master branch to the initial UI, all of a sudden there's Java. And so if we go down far enough. We'll eventually see the MVC, uh, which is the model view controller design pattern, and um, so model adapter activity. Um, and there's the Java files. So as you can see, all these files can change just by changing what branch you're on. So most of the time, you can create a new branch off master. Sometimes you just you have to. Um, just uh, use another branch. Um, the reason why it's a better idea to create a branch off of master is because, let's say, um, I create a branch off of the initial UI branch, and eventually somebody might change some of the code in initial UI and it gets updated. But when you go to merge both of those branches into master, you might have some merge conflicts. But um, that's something I can take care of. It's not a big deal. Okay, so anytime you make a change on a branch, they'll show up in here in a list. And um, so they're uncommitted changes and they need to be committed. So you'll see all the files that you changed and then you'll go down here and you'll write a summary of the changes you made. And maybe you can get more detailed uh, with the description, but that's up to you. I don't usually do a description, I'm just a quick summary. And because you can see all the code, so. Um, and then you just commit to initial UI. And once you commit the code, then you can come over here and you can sync the code. Um, and then um, the idea is that you want to commit often. So every little change, as long as it's good enough and it works, um, even if it's one line of code, um, maybe not one line, but um, let's say you write a method in a class and it seems to be working, 
then go ahead and, and commit. And you can commit as often as you like. And then once you've um, once you have the application working and you've um, committed everything you want, um, you just you just sync the code. I mean, every time you commit, you could sync the code. Um, so it's really up to you. But the thing is, is if you if you don't sync, then no one else is going to see those changes you made, because all of this stuff happens um, locally on your machine. It doesn't go up to the GitHub servers until you hit sync. And when you hit sync, then everybody else in our team also has access to those changes you made. So commit often and sync often. Um, I guess that's the best advice. Um, okay, so um, I'm actually going to use this. Um, so I'm going to create a new branch off of the initial UI branch. And I'm just going to call it new branch. Uh, so that's pretty bad naming, but this is just an example. Um, you want to name your branch something that has to do with um, what your purpose is. Um, like, uh, what kind of, if you're making a new class, or let's say you're um, adding Firebase to our code, then you would just call this branch Firebase or something. Okay, so as you can see, that's the new branch. And um, there hasn't been any changes, so nothing needs committed yet. So as soon as you make a new branch, you come over here and you click Publish this new branch. Um, and then once you click Publish, this button will change back over to Sync. Um, I'm not going to publish this branch because this is um, I'm, there's no reason for this to get uploaded to to GitHub. It's it's just for an example. Um, so now I'm going to open this project in. Android Studio. And hopefully this works. Sometimes Android Studio gives you a hard time about opening a new repository. And also Android Studio has its own um, Git and GitHub integration that you should not use. So it can mess things up. It's best just to not use it if you're using GitHub Desktop. And this shouldn't take too long to build. And something will pop up over here, and I just always say add root. And this has to do with their GitHub integration. I'm at, um, so just click that. And hopefully it builds. And it's indexing right now. Okay. And um, so we're going to just make sure this works. Go ahead and start up this uh, Android virtual device. Once we run this code on this virtual device, we should be able to see Sarar's uh, UI that he made. And sorry, this takes a little, little bit of time. And look what time it is. I should go to bed. Okay. So I'm just going to come up here and build. And I'm going to build to that device and hope that it works. It looks like it's. It might build.
Uh, if this is your first time trying to build this Android project or any Android Studio project, um, it, it might fail and then you'll just click. Um, usually an error will pop up and it'll tell you why and most of the time it's because it's missing a dependency or like the Android SDK needs updated or something like that. So you just click on it and do what it says and restart the application and try again. It can be a pain sometimes. Um, this is a, taking a little bit longer than I like, but it should it should be working. So, yeah, my computer seems to run a little slow whenever I'm uh, capturing my screen. Is it going to work? Okay. It's, I guess it wants to index again. Sorry. And you can see they get integration in Android Studio. So it's actually showing that I'm on uh, the branch I created called New Branch. Okay. So there we go. Okay. And there we go. That's the UI. Um, And so, usually whenever you do a build, some files get gets created. So, so I didn't make any changes in this application, but it still picked up on some changes. And so it seems to happen in the gradle.xml and miscellaneous.xml. Um, and so, in order for me to, to uh, proceed, I don't really need to make any changes because we'll just use these as our changes. Um, so I'm just going to create a, a quick summary here. Um, so yeah, like after you, you make all your changes in Android Studio, um, you come up, make sure you save and build and come over here and um, you just write a quick summary. So um, I'm just going to, you know, random stuff. Um, like I said, I want to delete this branch anyway, so um, yeah, you'll see all the changes. You write your summary and you click commit to new branch. And now those changes are committed. And once those changes are committed, you can sync. Um, of course, this says publish, but you get the idea. And uh, that's about it.